Hey everybody, it's Joe Doom back for another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about everything that I got from MegaCon 2023. I know it's been a couple of weeks at this point since I've been to the convention and I just haven't made a video on everything that I got. It's not very much, but it's still something. I always like to get at least one thing every convention to make it a little more memorable. But first, I'm gonna go over what comes in the bag when you get the ultimate pass. Sometimes it's called the premium pass, this year is called the Ultimate Pass. Let me show you the goodies that come in the bag. This is the bag. As you can see, it's fairly large, but I'm pretty sure they intend you to use it for carrying around a whole bunch of stuff that you're going to be getting. I didn't end up getting a whole lot to fill this bag. Actually, that's not true. I did get a couple things that were pretty large that this bag came in handy for. But as far as goodies that you get in the bag, not a whole lot. I think you get a little bit more if you go for the VIP badge but that's also a lot more expensive. So let's open this up, see what we got. We got a Harley Quinn poster. That's kind of nice. I actually kind of like that design. A Fan Expo exclusive comic book design, Superman. Now I heard there are multiple versions of this cover and one of them is supposed to be super, super rare, but I don't know if that's this cover or not. You'll have to let me know. And the final thing that was in this bag was this. The Mystery Machine Knit Series. And as you can see, it actually looks like it's knitted, but it's not, it's plastic. But I don't really care for Funko Pops or anything like that, but this one looks fun. I think I'm actually gonna keep this. I don't remember if I did a video last year about what I got, but this was the poster from the Ultimate Pass or Premium Pass as it was called last year. Oh, it's got a little tear in it, oh well. And I also found the comic that I don't know if it's an exclusive design or not but apparently i never opened it so and it's the batman adventures number 12 let's go ahead and open this up see what it looks like no 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 batman that's a blank piece of cardboard <laughs> it's the same design as the poster that i got this year isn't that funny i'm gonna go ahead and go over the things that i got for doom angel because i have something called a doom angel tax I'm sure a lot of you have heard that for streamers and YouTubers and blah, but I, I started using it for Doom Angel whenever I go to conventions and she is not able to go with me. So first thing that I found, there was somebody who commented on one of my update videos and although they didn't remember um, commenting on my video, but that isn't a big deal. I got something from their booth, something kind of cute. It's a little hand painted heart on a piece of wood. I thought that was adorable. And on the back is a magnet. Really cool, I love supporting smaller creators like this. It's cool to support some of the bigger companies as well, but this one, I, I enjoy supporting smaller creators. The very first thing that I found to give to Doom Angel was this. It is a Sailor Moon pin. My camera doesn't really focus, so I apologize about that. But it's got all three of the cats from the series, and it's a pin, and it's adorable. But let's go ahead and go back in time to the convention and check out the booth that I got this from right now. And I got that pin with the Sailor Moon Cats here at this booth here at MegaCon. Gloria Hirai is the artist here. And you can see they have a wide selection of goods that you can get, anything from prints to pins, keychains, you name it, they have it. Go check them out. I have their card right here. Scan those barcodes. I will also leave the description in the link below. Come check him out. And now to the number one thing of what Doom Angel wanted was an autograph from Jody Benson, who is the voice of Ariel in the original Little Mermaid. So I took the Blu-ray and last year I had gotten the Blu-ray of Beauty and the Beast to have the voice actress of Belle. I cannot remember her name right now. That's what the internet's for. Paige O'Hara. So I got her to sign the Blu-ray, but I had her sign it on the outside and now Doom Angel is concerned that it's going to rub off over time, which is very understandable. So this year, I was a little bit smarter about it. For Jody Benson, I had her sign the sleeve that goes inside of the case. So it's already protected and double protected. So there we go. Had the autograph. There is a little message on the top, but it has Doom Angel's real name on there. So I'm not going to show that, but it says... To Doom Angel, with love, God bless. And then down here on the bottom, it has Jody Benson Ariel. Really, really nice. 
we were actually supposed to go see her for her book signing when she was coming to Orlando before the hurricanes last year. The day of her book signing was the first hurricane, and we were very disappointed. Understandably, it got canceled, but uh, of course, she wasn't able to go with me to Megacon. But nonetheless, I told her the story. She said that she wishes that she could have been there, but, you know, things happen. But yeah, that was the big one for her this year. Last year, I went to an artist and got something of theirs that was really, really, really cool. I actually have it hanging right over there. And it's the Deathly Hollow symbol from Harry Potter. But on the bottom, like the bottom of the triangle was Sting, the sword from Lord of the Rings. The two diagonal slants are blue and red lightsabers. The circle on the inside of the triangle was the phrase of the one ring. And then in the very center, the stick going up was the elder wand. Very nice piece of art. I saw another version where one of the sides was the sonic screwdriver from Doctor Who. But as much as I like Doctor Who, Star Wars will always win out in my eyes. So, but I saw the artist was there again this year, and you're going to have to forgive the glare because there's going to be a lot of it. Blah! Holy cow, I told you there'd be a lot of glare. This is the poster that I saw from that artist, and it's Sailor Moon. Every single one of the Sailor Scouts, or Sailor Senshi, as they are actually called, along with Tuxedo Mask and the cats on the bottom as well. And she loves it. So, and it's really, really cool. The fact that a print like this from a lot of booths would cost over $50 at least. This artist usually sells their prints for about $10 and with a frame, $20. Or is it $15 and then $20 for frame? It's something really reasonably priced. And the artist is always there and signs it down there in the corner. Uh, it comes printed already and if you catch the artist there, usually he's there all the time. But if he's off getting something to eat, then he's not going to probably sign it unless you come back. But he did sign it right in front of me again. He did the same thing with the Deathly Hollows multi movie poster. And there is something that I spotted there that I might get for them next year. And uh, when I make that video, you'll find out what it is. So once again, let's go back in time to the con and check out that booth. And that piece of art was bought here at Thompson's Custom Art and Creation. It was right back here. You can't really see it. Last year, I got the multi-genre uh, Deathly Hollow symbol, as you can see back here in the corner. You'll always see the artists here at the booth working on art. You'll always see these two. And trust me, they have good quality art. Go check them out. Here's their business card. Go check them out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and I'll also leave a description in the link below. And now it's time for the things that I bought for myself, starting with this. It's a Snorlax pin. I absolutely love Snorlax. Uh, I love Magikarp as well. And of course, it, if you know me, you'll know that my favorite Pokemon of all time is Mew. Uh, Magikarp just kind of ended up being a, a thing because of VR chat. I have a cursed Magikarp avatar that makes everybody laugh. But Snorlax always reminds me of my dad. And since he passed away a couple of years ago, every time that I see something Snorlax, it makes me think of him. And I saw this and I was like, oh, I got to have that. One of the coolest things that I got to experience this year was that someone from my extended family was actually running a booth. And his name is Ryan. And he is part of a company called Sumerian Comics. They are a publisher and they have multiple works. And at the convention, they actually had a couple of writers. I think two or three writers actually came to the convention. And one of the artists actually flew in from Spain. That was pretty cool. The artist actually gave me the sticker. That was really cool. Uh, but they also gave me a blind box. Look at that. I'm not going to unbox this in this video. I'm going to be doing a separate video because I think this is going to have a lot in it and it's going to be super exciting. So go check out that video when it's out. But for now, let's go check out the booth at the con. Sumerian Comics. The sign is really bright, but that's what it says. Go check them out. They have a website. I'll link it down in the description below. They are publishers of many different visual novels, comics. They have t-shirts, pins, all kinds of awesome, crazy stuff. Here I have one of the artists. We have a writer over here. 
go check them out. And if you like seeing what you saw, again, links in the description down below. So the last few things that I got, I got from V1 Tech and their prints are amazing. I've wanted one for a long time. There's still quite a few that I would love to collect. But on Friday, I think it was, they actually had one deal for a particular artist and it was buy two get one free it was more like buy two get this one free which was fine because the one that they had free for that day was actually something that i wasn't gonna particularly care for but i knew one of my co-workers absolutely loves this pokemon so i actually gave it to him already so let's take a look at the segment that i recorded before i gave it to him this is another one of the prints that i got it is a very nice Squirtle print. I'm giving this as a gift to my coworker because his favorite Pokemon is Squirtle. And this was one of the free ones. It was a buy two, get one free. So this is the free one. And the other two that I bought enabled me to get this. So, but all lovely pieces of art and all of them are con exclusives. In addition to that one, these are the two that I actually bought, starting with this one. Zhang Li from Genshin Impact, one of my main characters and uh, somebody that Doom Angel absolutely loves in the game. She doesn't have him, but um, she keeps saying I need to cosplay as him. <laughs> I definitely don't have his figure to be able to cosplay him, but he is very cool. The Zhang Li was actually an afterthought because I was only planning on getting one of these prints and it was this one. Oh my goodness, it's my favorite Pokemon. It's Mew. Just look at that glorious Mew. <laughs> so I saw this and I was like, I have to have it. And I love the fact that here in the eyes, let's see if you can see it without too much glare. One of the things that I love about the eyes is actually got reflection of like the lo-fi uh, look, neon look in his eyes. I don't know if Mew is a boy or a girl. I just said his, but... Inside Mew's eyes, just beautiful. The only question is, where am I gonna hang these? I'm running out of room in my office. There's a possibility I might hang them up like over here in the spaces over here and over here. The thing is about this, this doesn't need any kind of frame. I mean, you can have one of the lighted frames and it actually looks really nice with light coming from behind. See, look at that, That that is the light from my phone, but it can come through with any color. It looks really, really good. I'm also gonna see if command strips hold them up on the wall. I don't know if it'll work. I hope it does, because otherwise I'm gonna have to buy a frame. And I don't wanna buy a frame for these. These are perfect as is. And with that, let's go take a look at V1 Tech at the convention. And those wonderful pieces of art were from here. V1 Tech booth over here at MegaCon Orlando. They had several booths here this year. This is the same artist of the prints that you just saw. They had a, a really good deal. Uh, you, you can see that one of the ones, Mew over there, that's the one that I got. Uh, there was a Squirtle somewhere, and I also got a Zhongli up oh, somewhere. I don't know, he's over there, there he is. But you saw it in the, uh, in the unboxing video. Go check him out, I will leave a link in the description down below. And they have wonderful art, not just this style, but they also have a lot of other different types of styles. Lo-fi, I think there's a couple of horror genre-esque uh, go check them out. You're going to love it. And that's it. That was everything that I got at MegaCon 2023. Now you're probably thinking, that's not a whole lot. You're right. It's not a whole lot because I keep it that way. It's one thing. I drive from where I live to the convention every day. That's a bit of a distance. And it's actually cheaper than staying in a hotel. So it's worth it. Also, prices of parking. You know, it's a little expensive for every day. But I also didn't want to just use my money and have be like, oh, I want this, I want this, I want this. I want to see things and be excited to get something that I saw the previous year, the next year, if they have it. That's the question, though, if they're going to have it. A lot of these places will still have a lot of the same stuff. And if not, Oh, well, I'm not going to be traumatized over it. There is something really cool that I found out in the official Fan Expo YouTube channel. I am actually shown, along with my mom, in costume on the day three recap. And uh, she always has fun whenever she joins me. She's joined me for the past. This is the second year of her joining me. So 
So that was pretty fun. Uh, she had a fun time dressing up and got to meet Vincent D'Onofrio. And it was super cool. I had a blast. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.